Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show how just a little scrap of wood can make an awesome jig for um, doing half laps on the chop saw. And I will also use that to demonstrate how to make a little uh, tchotchke sort of uh, candle holder thing that you see a lot right now. Uh, so please uh, subscribe and ring the bells and do all the things, do what you got to do. I really appreciate it. Um, come along with me for the build. Thanks. To start this off, if you don't have some sort of spacer against your fence, then when you have the depth adjustment set on your chop saw, miter saw, you will have cuts that look like this. Unfinished cuts, rounded cuts that aren't deep or through and cuts that just don't work. So what you need to do is get a spacer in front so the chop saw can get all the way through. And there you can see it cut out the rest because it had been pulled forward off of the fence allowing the blade to cut all the way through. So for this project we're going to make a bunch of little pieces like this that get your fingers too close to the blade to make the half lap that will be the base. So for a solution to getting pieces off the fence and protected and keeping your fingers safe, I found a piece of wood in my workshop that had a couple of knot holes that I punched out the knot holes that were nice and I cut a dado in the um, front end of it so I could so I could clamp a workpiece to the spacer and keep the my fingers away and keep the spacer along the fence you'll see as I build it To start this build, I ripped a bunch of uh, pine pieces down to half inch uh, square lengths that end up being these. And I'll cut them down to be the, the bases and the bases and the verticals for this. Okay, now that we have cut the interlocking half lap for the base, that will be this base. Now we need to um, now we need to cut the half lap that this will nest into for the vertical, and that's the same process with the spacer from the chop saw with the clamp keeping your fingers safe.
After you have cut the half lap on these two, the bottom pieces, and you've cut the half lap on the verticals, they go in there nice and snug. That one might need a little extra sanding, but you do that on all four. Little sanding, glue it up, and you have a little candle holder thing. This one I just made a little short just for fun. Um, and that should be it. The main thing is it's much, much easier if you use a spacer along a fence that has a, a straight edge and a notch for clamping your work pieces and keeping your fingers safe. So a goofy little candle thing, but also a way to speed up your production and keep your fingers safe. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Please watch for the next one. Um, it should be warmer weather by that time. I know this is a goofy cold weather build, but it's, you do what you gotta do. All right, uh, we'll watch for you in the next one. Thank you very much.